At Aintree, they called it the Grand International. In the breeze flew the hammer and sickle, a sign that Russia has invaded one more field of sport. But it was the richest ever national, worth 20,000 pounds to the winner. Also, the betting was heavier than at any time since the lush years just before the war. Among the runners, Carrasco came within the camera's eye. So did that great performer of last year, T. Fiend. All eyes now on the two Russian jockeys and their horses. On the small side for Aintree, where Reljev and his Iron Curtain companion, Griffel. And how the sporting crowd took them to its heart. But good sportsmanship didn't upset the punter's judgment. The race goers weren't expecting the Russians to win. Among other handicaps, the Soviet horses were carrying top weight of 12 stone. They led the parade number one and two, followed here by Merriman II, winner last year, and Mr. Watt, winner in 1958. There's no draw for the national. The horses line up as best they can behind the single tape. And they might have been troubled. Jimaru lashed out at Merriman II, and Derek Ansel signaled to the starter. A nasty moment, but no damage. Then up went the cry. They're off. The going was firm, and what a relief that must have been for the 35 riders, with four and a half miles to go and 30 jumps ahead. For those who didn't fall by the way. The first jump had its casualties, but fortunately it wasn't the massacre it's sometimes been in the past. But it was goodbye to Floater, Clover Bud, and April Queen. On to the second jump with Brian Oak, Fresh Winds, and Taxidermist leading the field. Along with the horses, our cameras soon showed that Fresh Winds and Brian Oak looked like a pair of outriders contemptuously in front of the rest. Not that the remainder had anything to worry about. No Grand National is ever in the bag at this early stage. During the jump before Beechers, Kingstell and Ampersaw were going well. So was Griffel, one of those Russian horses. And now they dashed on towards Beechers Brook. Kingstell came to grief here. So did Brian Oak, Taxidermist and Griffel. Carrasco was out of it too. Russian jockey Prakov showed great courage and remounted Griffel. But it was only to take his mount off the course. Russia's hopes for a national win were almost over for this year. Into the canal turn with fresh winds leading from Ampersaw and Savaria. Fresh winds still in the lead at Valentine's Brook with a loose horse for company. Fresh winds still going strong at the tent fence, but the Russian horse Rail Jeff made a mistake and was out of the race. Wins still clear of the pack at the 12th, but Ampersaw was still going strong to lead the rest of the field. Into the water jump at the end of the first time round. Fresh winds out in front and going well. fresh winds as the field goes into the second circuit of this grueling Aintree course. Our mobile camera is with the pack as they approach the 19th fence. Fresh winds still leading as they jump. But he's down and now it's Nicholas Silver in the lead with John Joe. Fence number 20 and the leaders are keeping up a cracking pace. It's still anybody's race. Nine jumps to go, and Merriman the second comes into the running with Nicholas Silver and Weinberg on the far side as they go into jump 21. In 
to Beaches for the second time, and Nicholas Silva and Merriman are just clear of Weinberg. Merriman leads as they go into the canal turn. Nicholas Silva jumps wide and loses ground. It's still Merriman in front as they go into Valentine's, followed by Kilmore and Nicholas Silva. Can Merriman repeat his last year's win? Merriman still leading with Kilmore and Nicholas Silva close on his heels at jump 26. It's still the same order at the 27th. Well, Jeff Jockey taking the hard way home as what's left of the field come up to the last jump. Nicholas Silva jumps ahead of Merriman. Handicapped by that 11 stone 12, last year's winner is tiring, while the grey goes better than ever, keeping his place for the long run in. <laughs> ahead of Merriman by five lengths, Nicholas Silva wins the national. combination Bobby Beasley and Nicholas Silva first grade win the national for 90 years